I'm happy to join you in celebrating and congratulating the 2021 graduating class of the Boston Conservatory at Berkeley. I think extra congratulations are in order for their accomplishments in this pandemic year. Uh, I'm not at all certain uh, that my new honorary doctorate uh, will make any of my comments more intelligent or meaningful, uh, but I'm not going to let that stop me. Uh, first, I want to express my gratitude to Berkeley President Roger Brown, to Kathy Young, director of the Boston Conservatory at Berkeley, to the faculty of the conservatory, and to the Berkeley Board of Trustees. I thank them for letting me join in this illustrious company by awarding me this honorary doctorate. And special thanks please to Bridget Hayes for her incredibly patient assistance in this distant virtual process. I can imagine that um, you graduates uh, have had more than your uh, fair share of advice this past year, uh, especially with all the challenges of COVID-19. In uh, thinking about what I would say to you, I thought about this business of giving advice. Have you noticed that uh, when people give advice, they usually say things that tell you more about them than the topic under discussion? I think so. So having said that, I want to give you some advice about advice from my life experience. Uh, I've always liked the saying advice is cheap, but not in the negative sense, rather in the sense of uh, opportunity. It's opportunity to discover, figure out lots of stuff and mostly figure out stuff about yourself. So when I was about uh, 19 years old, I was already playing a lot of concerts with orchestras. And I remember that I went to my manager and complained about the conductors, uh, different conductors giving me different advice about the same place in the same concerto. And I'm paraphrasing his response, but uh, it's, it's never really left me. He said, uh, don't waste their time or yours with counter arguments or contradictions. Just take it all in. Go home, think seriously, study the music, keep and use the advice that you realize is good, discard the bad, and get on with thinking for yourself. It really is great advice. And that made me realize that I had already experienced and done this for myself years earlier, but I wasn't really conscious of it. So uh, this is my little story about advice. When I was 14, I won an audition to play with the Philadelphia Orchestra again. This was the first orchestra I ever played with when I was 10 years old. And I'm, I don't remember anymore why, but I had to play, I had to learn the uh, symphonic variations of Cesar Franck um, for the concert, which I had won you know, through the audition. And that was gonna be eight or nine months later. Anyway, so my difficulties began a few weeks after I started learning the piece. I would go for my lesson. My, my teacher would tell me certain things you know, to do, get slower here, get faster there, louder, softer, you know, like that. Uh, and then I would go home. And my mother very, very often sat in the same room where I practice. And she would tell me things like, why are you doing that there? Don't get slower, get faster. And no, 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 softer over there, not louder. So those things that she was telling me, of course, I imagine you guessed it already, um, were not exactly what my teacher was telling me to do. Actually, it was the opposite of what my teacher was telling me. 
So um, not all of the things were different, but an awful lot of them. And you can imagine, uh, it was a stressful time for me. And I was 14, you know, I didn't need any extra stress in my teenage experience. So the blessing and the upshot and the point of this is that I learned to remember and play one way in the lesson to please my teacher doing what I remember she said and another way at home when my mother was listening so to please her. Um, okay, sometimes I mixed them up a little bit and they'd say, wait, 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 what are you doing? I told you. But anyway, uh, the point is my mother wasn't always at home when I was practicing. And that's when I took my opportunity to try out things in a different way, different than either my teacher or my mother wanted. You know, I liked this piece and I noticed that they didn't say exactly what was on the printed page. You know, they told me to do things that they thought were good and interesting and, you know. So I liked some of the stuff that was written in the score better than what either of them were telling me to do. So I kind of found my own way. And I was managing these various interpretations pretty well. I kept it straight most of the time. And then it was time to rehearse with the orchestra. Now, the conductor had advice for me. And yep, that's right. It was different from my mother, from my teacher, and even from my own imaginings. So now I had a third person's advice to contend with. So luckily for me, it turned out neither my teacher nor my mother cared for his advice, his directives. And so they didn't really pay attention to the details of what I was doing, that I wasn't really doing precisely what they said either. The point of my story is that in the concert, uh, I got lucky, I played well, and it was a big success. And afterwards, both my mother and my teacher said the same thing. They said identical things separately. And they came to me and they said, that was good because you did it exactly the way I told you to. So yeah, I guess if I'd had a bad day and <laughs> an unlucky day and played poorly, they would have said, yeah, that was bad because you didn't do what I told you. But that's not really the point. My advice to you is just hear and listen to all advice. Examine it, examine the topic, accept some of the advice, reject some of the advice, and get out there and think for yourselves. And now here's my last advice. Uh, I hasten to tell you, I'm not plagiarizing. These four or five sentences that I want to read to you uh, is advice from different, a few different people, uh, not original from me. And they are advice givers much greater than I could ever be. Try to live in the present moment. Try to be mindful in everything you do. Try to be mindful and not mindless in everything you do. Try to be kind. It's always good to be kind. It's always possible to be kind. So I suggest most strongly that you not reject or discard any of these last pieces of advice. Thanks for listening. Peace.